didn't graduate high school, don't worry. I have a high school diploma hack. Hey, everybody, it's Shamika. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell so that you guys can be kept current with my most latest and updated videos, okay? So, just because you didn't graduate high school doesn't mean that you are stuck. You too can finish high school and I'm gonna show you how. Now, there is a company out there that allows you to do a at-home high school test and what's gonna happen is, and I'll, I'll tell you the name and all that in a second, but you're gonna take the at-home high school test. Once you pass, you will get a certificate. Now, what happens is if you choose to go to this school, what you need to do is contact the college of your choice because most people want to go and finish high school because they now want to go to college, right? Some people hate taking that GED test. They just get stuck. They don't like it. So this is a way to work around it. I have seen it done several times, so I'm just going to tell you. So you're going to go to this school. You're going to sign up and pay to get their high school diploma. But before you do that, you're going to contact the college of your choice, the college that you want to go to. And you're going to ask them if they first accept their high school diploma from this high school that I'm going to tell you about. Now, if they say no, that's okay. There are a lot of community colleges in your local area that probably will take it. If not, you can look to find some online schools to see if they take it. Now, what's going to happen if they do take it? Generally, it's going to only be schools that are two-year colleges, and that is okay because, well, some of us don't want to go past two years of school. But for those that do and you want to transfer to a four-year school, you can because once you get the diploma from the two-year school, it kind of null and voids the high school diploma. So actually, it, it actually supersedes the high school diploma. And now the four-year school is only looking at your two-year school degree and not this diploma, okay? So I'm just going to tell you the truth. This school is not one that is accredited or accepted everywhere. So that is why I'm telling you to call the school or the college you want to go to first before enrolling here. All right. So here goes the information on the school. And the school is called, and I have a package here. It's called Educators Inc. Private Christian School. Now, I will put the information below so that you can go um, and call them. Uh, I'll explain to you how it works. I have had several clients that I have referred this to and they have all gotten their um, high school diploma and they've all transferred to a college. Now, we live here in the Space Coast area of Florida and currently there is no school that takes it in this area, but it is accepted at Miami-Dade Community College. So what my clients have to do is they have to go and take the Miami-Dade College classes online, unfortunately for the two years, get the diploma, and then now they can go and transfer to wherever they want to go. Now, it is a little bit of a sacrifice uh, in their case because it's online. It might be a sacrifice in your case as well. But again, you also did not get your diploma. So you beggars can't be choosy. You got to choose one or the other. You either get your GED and have full reign to go to the schools you want to go to, or you can try out this, which I have seen work, and just see if the local schools in your area take it. If not, just go online, get a degree, be done with it, all right? So again, it's called Educators Inc. Private Christian Schools. And all you're going to do is you're going to pay, um, and I believe it is a hundred and I didn't sign up for it. So I'm going to say between 99 and $129 and they're going to send you a booklet. It looks like this. It says assessment test and it's about like 40 pages. All right. So you're going to, um, it's 40 pages back in front of questions. I believe it's like five sections, um, 25 questions in um, math, uh, not math, in, uh, let me get the topics really quick. Um, here it is. So there's 25 questions in social studies, science, English writing, and English reading. They're very easy, very basic um, kind of questions. Uh, 
some of it gives you information to read so that you can actually have something to answer from. And some of it is supposed to be just based off of stuff you should know. It is, and I'll tell you how it's graded in a second. Then there's a math portion and the math portion actually has 45 questions. Uh, you may or may not be able to answer all of them. They do range from fractions to multiplications, you know, simple math to um, some graphing stuff. So uh, I actually made a call to the school myself because I had some questions because I knew I was gonna make this video. So here's how the grading works. They give you all these uh, questions and they grade you off of uh, what you answer. So if you leave something blank, it doesn't hurt you because it actually hurts you more if you answer and get it wrong than it is if you left it blank. It's really kind of crazy. Um, in my opinion, I really think they probably just pass everybody. I hate to say that. I don't know. Um, but like I said, everybody that I know has actually gotten a diploma and gotten a college. So at the end of the day, who cares? As long as it's working and they got into college, that's the end game, right? So there's also an essay that you have to do um, when you turn it back in. The essay is not that much. It's, it's just probably like a, a page at the most. And I think it asks you about like, what are you going to do when you get out of high school? You turn the test back in with the essay and then they're going to grade it. And then they're going to send you the essay part again. But this time they want the essay to be actually typed like it should be if you were in college level. So if you have somebody that knows how to type and, you know, put the indentations, um, you know, and the uh, um, the heading, that type of stuff, it's nothing really fancy, but um, I think they want just to show that you have some type of writing ability. So the first essay you send in is the rough draft and the second one is the um, completed copy. So the updated professional copy, the one that you actually want to submit. And once you send that back, the next thing you know, you get your diploma and you're done, okay? So again, the school is called Educators Inc. Private Christian Schools, and I will put the link below. Um, you are going to ask me if they're accredited, and I'll tell you that not everywhere are they, uh, are there, is their um, diploma uh, accepted everywhere. So again, you need to call the schools that you're interested in going to first, okay? So um, I just wanted to put this little high school diploma hack out there because again, there are a lot of people that feel like because they didn't graduate that they're stuck and they're not. And if you choose not to go to college, but you just want to achieve having a diploma because it's something that you want to have, then this is a good way to go about doing it. It is something that you can put in a little frame and feel good that you actually graduated from something. So if you just want to do that, then there goes another option for you. So anyway, I hope I taught you guys something new. Share it with somebody because we want people to start achieving their goals and dreams so that they can start going out for bigger and better things, okay? Yes, you can get student loans. Yes, you can get a FAFSA in college once you get into college, but you got to finish your high school diploma to do that. And this is just a way. All right. So like, subscribe and share. I appreciate your support. Hit that notification bell and I'll talk to you guys soon. And again, the link is in the description. Bye.